Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, Dr. Jared Nims, plastic surgeon from Commonwealth Plastics and his fantastic wife, come office manager, Renee. How are we both today? We're great. We're great. Um, really interesting topic today. Let's just get into it. We're talking about moisturizing the skin and how that doesn't necessarily help the, stop the aging process. Yes, we have all these moisturizers in our bathrooms and we've actually learned that on the cellular level we need to turn over the skin cells so that they can regrow and it's exfoliation that does that and not putting all this moisturizer on our face to pack well, that it's down. It's funny because we've always been taught and if you go with skincare moisturize 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 right. you brought up a really interesting point saying a lot of people over moisturize they the skin do without exfoliation mm -hmm. Talk us through the exfoliation. Is it something you should do every day? You can do it daily in the shower or when you wash your face, but it's really important, like when you go get your hair cut, right? It mm. helps kind of your hair look healthy and grow. And you do that only once a month. Yep. So we really encourage people to do kind of monthly skin maintenance with some sort of micro peel. We do at our office some dermaplaning that helps get some of these things down into the cells oh, I love that and stimulate. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you did yes, that. You I'm do. in. Mm -hmm. I love that. Now, one one of the things that I like about your office is that you have what we class as professional products, okay? Talk to me about the Obagi and why that is an important skin routine. Well, it's really important to use something that's medical grade. These are those things that get down into the cell. Um, there's a lot of science behind them. So people spend billions of dollars going to the grocery store and pulling different products. We can really tailor products to exactly what each skin needs. So my skin problems are not your skin problems. We're going to need different products. Yes. And we and don't want you shooting arrows in the dark. And is that something that. that you sometimes step into when the and Renee says, hey, we really do have an extra case here that we really need that extra level of expertise. Of course, we have people who come in who uh, may need something done to their face and they want to talk about skin care, but then they also want to talk about surgical means as yeah. well. And so that's something that, that I would talk about. Okay, so let's just jump on over mm -hmm. to Botox and injectables because yeah. you know I'm a big fan. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> I love them and I think everyone should have them. And I always think it's important if people are sitting at home to know the difference between Botox and where you can have it injected. Because a lot of people <laughs> say, oh, I have my lips Botox. Oh, okay, do yes, you? Yeah. That Interesting. Would look funny. <laughs> <laughs> so well, where are some places you should and shouldn't? Yeah, there's a common misconception out there about, hey, I can use Botox in the lower portions of the face or fillers up in, the, up in my forehead. For mm -hmm. most people, that's not the case. Usually, you're using Botox on, up on the upper portions of the face, say, uh, in between your eyebrows, your forehead, yeah. around your eyes, that sort of thing, and fillers down for the lower portions of the face. Okay, well, we're going to bring up some before and after shots of mm -hmm. some patients that you've taken care of. And here is one here, before and after. There's a big difference around the mouth area. What did we do there? Right. So that's uh, use of fillers uh, in this patient, Restlin. And you can see where we've softened out the lines um, that come down from the nose down to the corners yeah. of the mouth. It's a big difference. And mm. Renee, I'm just sitting here looking. She actually looks quite a bit younger, and you only just did around the mouth. And that's the key, is really you can do a lot of things in between needing those large surgical procedures yeah. like a brow lift or, you know, an eyelid lift to just maintain skin and kind of combat those wrinkles so they don't set deeper in. And before we get to the next picture, um, I just want to say to you, one of the things that I've been a big advocate of mm -hmm. is preventative. Mm -hmm. along with the skincare regime. Mm -hmm. Agree? Mm -hmm. But sometimes people want to just have the, the injectables because they might not also be able to afford a prescription-based, medically-based um, skin service as well, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to products. When people are going to a supermarket or pharmacy, what is something, what's a key ingredient that they should look for in a product? Vitamin C, yeah. uh, antioxidant, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. some of these products that we have have that vitamin C. It's interesting because only 8% of vitamin C that you take orally will actually get to the surface of the skin. Oh, wow. And so it is something that helps kind of combat those free radicals yeah. that are pollutants in the air that help age us. Good advice, I like mm -hmm. that. And also we're gonna bring up the next one here. Now, different gal, what do we do here? You can see there's some things that are also done in, that, in those same areas from the nose down to yeah. the mouth, but also up near the eyes. Look at the eyes. How right below the eyes, yeah. the, 
those areas have been softened up. What did you use in it? Again, wrestling, but a lighter version of, of wrestling. Okay. Um, that is more appropriate for the, that light area. Of okay, the something that people ask me out and about, and it's something, you know, I had a TV show called The Younger You, so this was a very big topic that we mm -hmm. used to talk about. They'd say, Troy, I've got this major wrinkle, mm -hmm. and it's getting worse over the years. Mm -hmm. I have always said, have the Botox to stop it getting worse, but then do the injectable. Am I on the right path of that conversation? I, I think for most people, using the Botox is a good thing. Yeah. Um, and using it regularly, actually, I think, diminishes those wrinkles more yeah. so than if you just came in, say, once and then came in uh, in a year or so. You're not going to be actively working on those muscles versus yeah. if you come in every four months or yeah, so. Yeah, I agree with you. Well, we have an incredible offer for all our viewers at home. That's one of the things we love about you, your mm -hmm. team up there. There it is. Buy one syringe of wrestling and get an area of disport treated for free. Or, of course, the other offer is buy one area of disport and get the second area free. There's the phone number, 859-951-5080, Facebook as well. And also go over to the website. They've got great information on there, everyone. If you want to find out more information, of course, just give them a buzz. They're fantastic. Appreciate you guys coming in. Thank we'll you. be back after this short break.